Okay, so and what we found out, the reason I ask you that is because what we found out in the last decade through cognitive neuroscience, brain imaging and brain mapping, is that every, this is how the human machine works. We take in 11 million bits of information every second. Every second, you're taking in 11 million bits of information through what you see, what you feel, what you touch, what you smell, what you taste, 11 million bits. Only 126 bits goes to your conscious mind for action. We're like reverse broadband. We take in broadband speeds, but we only act on dial-up speed. Now, because the human brain has to answer a question, how do you think we pick that 126 bits that go to our conscious mind for action? Bueller, anyone? The filter, what's the filter? How do we filter that information? Well, I'll give you a hint. What we found out is it's what you think, what you feel, what your attitude is, and what your opinion is. An opinion is just a soft word for belief. Your brain knows you're a genius, and your brain will never go against your genius self. Here's what it looks like. You get up, and it's Blue Monday. You're like, today is going to be an awful day. And your genius brain says, oh, today's going to be an awful day. And so it starts to filter all the 11 million bits of information per second, finds the exact 126 bits of information per second that proves your genius self correct, and today becomes an awful day. <laughs> now, on the other hand, today could be an awesome day. And your brain goes to work, filtering that 11 million bits of information per second, finds the exact 126 bits of information per second, prove your genius self correct, and today is an awesome day. In psychology, we call it confirmation bias. <laughs> Let's take it to the office. I can't stand her. <laughs> Your brain will go to work, find every reason in the world, right? I know it's nobody in here, so we could talk openly about those people. Right? Or, and it discard anything that would go against your genius assessment of I can't stand her. But what if you love her? She is awesome. Your brain will go to work, filter all the information, and you will only see the awesome stuff about her, right? And people will complain about it. You'll be like, I just don't see that. Has that ever happened to you? This, see, this is medical science. It's an electrochemical self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, since the human brain has to do what? Answer a question. Here's the question on the table. Are you pointing your brain, your 126, in a direction that helps you or hurts you?